What's going on guys? Drawing Chaos, yes, THE Drawing Chaos, here with another Satisfactory video, hooray! Welcome to Fix It, I'm Bob, and today I'll be your- Get on with it! I'm screwed. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips, tricks, and a nice little tutorial on how to take a small, simple building such as this one and turn it into a masterpiece. <laughs> but nothing too big such as this one. So if the video helped or you found something interesting, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down in the bottom if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I read all eight of them. And don't forget to subscribe because how am I gonna become the king of YouTube if you don't subscribe? You all gotta do your part, okay? I'm counting on you! So with update number four looming really close over in March, I wanted to take a nice simple building like this and show you how you can make the design of it even better with just the simple little edits here and there. So these are in no particular order, uh, but we're gonna start off at the base of the foundation and work our way up from there. Now, as you can see, this is the standard idea of what people do for the entrance to the base, where they just put a ramp, and it's simple and effective, sure, but we wanna make this a little bit better. So I'm gonna put a foundation out here, and then I'm gonna build an excess of foundations on the side wall. I'm gonna use the quarter pipes because they don't stick out as far as a regular foundation does, and they kinda of look like little walkways when you're walking out there. Now, instead of connecting it straight to that foundation, I'm going to put the uh, inner quarter quarter pipes, which is kind of hard to say, but pretty fun, on there as well. And then I'll show you what I can do for the front with these inverted ones right here. And then I can go and take a ramp and put a ramp out there and I can extend the ramp down. The smaller the ramp I use, the longer it can actually go. It actually adds a lot more to the entrance of the base than what was previously there. And I can put a flat piece on here as well until it sinks right into the ground and it works perfectly. And as you can see, these sticking off the edges like that with the inverted look very nice, but you can also put the regular simple ones there too. It's personally your choice, whatever one you wanna go for. I like the other ones better because they stick out more and they look better as a ramp. Now, onto the next part is this little flat section over here. Sure, I can go around like I did with the foundations, but if I put these nice walls with the X's on it, the metal walls, and bring those all the way over, I think this looks so much better. But you can actually see the foundations underneath it, and this works really well with foundations where they're more than two or three high, where you have to do multiple different levels. What you can do is you can actually take some of the ones with the color on them, like reinforced windows at this point, and you can put them down there and the extra color really shows the difference from level to level and kind of adds that extra little bit of uh, pizzazz to it and makes it look really cool. I mean, but what do you guys think? So I continue the look all the way around, and as you can see, if it goes further down, it does look good, but if it goes too far down, you don't want to do it too much because it's going to be overpowering. So you just have to think about exactly how much you're doing on that and how far it goes down for that. Now for the rest of it, when you're doing stuff like water and everything like this, as you can see, I'm just wrapping around the building and trying to make this look nice. But with pipes and everything that's over here, I'm gonna have to edit those a certain way. And as you can see, even though it gets, sticks out a little bit, the inverted ones underneath there look pretty good. Whereas if I just put the corner piece, it kind of looks a little gaudy. So I just wanna keep it like that. So sticking with the wrap around the building would be the best idea for this. As you can see right here, it looks really good and flows really well with the building. Also, when you're building pipes, yes, you can switch over to like say vertical mode and stuff like that. But if you don't like clipping like that, you're really gonna have to find a way to fix that. And I'll show you later on how I fix the pipes. But as you can see with the back of the building over here, I was trying to think what would be the best thing to do. And I thought sticking with the wonderful nice little ledge and everything over here, so it has a nice uniform look, would be the best possible solution for this. But test it out with the building that you're making because each building might actually feel different or better depending on what you choose. So just keep that in mind when you're building it. And then I'm making the uniform look going all the way across the bottom so it matches up with the side. 
So one other thing I wanted to include around the base of the foundation and everything is on putting walkways down here because the walkways can actually snap into stuff and they have railings. So if you don't mind a little clipping like this, you can actually get some railings going all the way across this even though the bigger railings don't fit out very well. And as you can see right here, I try out with the bigger railings and it just doesn't clip right. Uh, hopefully they will fix that in update number four because that would be amazing to have in the build. So with the foundation complete and out of the way, it is time to work on the walls. And some tips on the walls is you don't want to use one specific material as it'll look very simple and boring and we want to spice things up. Just by adding in a secondary material such as the metal walls in this example right here, you can see how much extra it adds just by putting those in the corner. Another thing that you can do is actually go where the foundations are and put them there as well and it'll show you the difference between one level to the next. This is really going to showcase everything and you can do the same thing on the top layer as well and this will work to your advantage very good. As you can see, this one small little change really changes up the build and really showcases how good it looks now. Another thing that you can do that's quite simple is getting rid of the roof and showing off your buildings that you have on top. Especially if you have a small build such as this, showing off the building sticking out of the top really does showcase what you got. And you can delete walls such as this, building gate walls going across, and it really showcases them even more. And the best thing that you can do once you put the gate walls in is you can actually put the walkways up here at the top and you can connect them all together and you can have a nice lookout point, so to speak. So with that being done, you can see how good the ledge looks even looking off of it. It works out really well as well as you can actually see how good it looks from a distance and everything. But with that being said, you can also do the same thing over on the other sides, but switch it up to glass windows instead so you can look out and see what's going on there. But by adding in the glass windows, you add a little bit of a uh, difference to it as well. And it really showcases what you have built. So on this wall, we have to deal with some pipes, which some players have an issue with, uh, trying to make those look nice and uniform. But one of the tips that we have for this is if you go over to the logistics, you can get the pipeline wall support, and you can put these all clustered next to each other, which I think they look pretty good clustered next to each other, and you can actually attach them such as that. And putting in the fence over there beforehand really does emphasize the look of it. Then we bring them all the way down together, making sure that you're under vertical, and look how good that looks together such as that. Then the next thing up is we have the power behind that, which I'll show you in a moment on how to change that up. But as we connect these together, we just do a nice simple little pipeline support such as this, and everything looks perfect and uniform and easy going. This is a great way of getting pipes up set up really nicely in your base. You want them all to look even and some people do like them apart where I like them together such as this. It is completely your choice on what you think is the better look for it. Test it out with your build and see which one looks better for you. Now there will be instances where you're having to deal with one simple pipeline going in and in that case I like using like simple pipeline wall holes just to get the stuff in there. It makes everything look neat and clean and kind of organized. And then the other thing is trying to bring this stuff down like this. If you have it like that it's going to hang off way too much. One thing that you can do is go back to your pipeline wall support and it can go on walls, but they also set it up so it can go on foundations. So with the curved foundations such as those, you can actually bring it down and bring it over looking nice and uniform, keeping it vertical and it actually keeps your walkway nice and clean and it doesn't look too far out sticking out. So that's always good. Now I want to go over some tips on power. Now as you can see here we got one that's going through the walls just to get the power back into the building but there are other things that you can do where it's not in the way and it doesn't look like it's hanging out right like this. A simple thing is bringing it over on the walls simplifies it and keeps it away from the edges so you can use less power poles altogether. Another thing you can do instead of putting the power poles like this is go a little bit off the edge and you can turn into a wall power pole which does look nicer and is more compact. And if you don't mind the clipping, you can actually bring it further down such as this. 
There are other things that you can do as well. So if you get like a one meter foundation such as this one, you can actually grab a power line, go underneath and have it underneath such as this. Runestone Gaming is a prime example of someone who does this all the time and it really hides the power lines that are in your build, not to mention it makes it quite easy to use over and over again. So it's really good all around. So as you can see, once you get a couple of them linked together, it makes it really good and really easy to hide and gives you a nice clean look overall. And you can even bring them into buildings and attach one to the other straight away and it looks like the power just magically appears. It's really nice and really useful, especially for compact builds and small buildings such as these. Another thing, so instead of having them on the ceiling, you can also put them on the walls. As they do clip to the nice concrete, you can actually have them coming out of the walls and out of the ground like this, so it looks like the power is coming straight from the ground. It all depends on how you want it and which one you think looks better. But once they're all set up, you can actually take the walls, put them back up, and then everything is nice and hidden. Now you take a look at that and you compare it to the other side of the building where everything's on the side and you can tell which one you think is better and use that one for your build. So the next thing we want to focus on is power for machines. Now if you have something similar to this where it's a multi-story setup such as this one, what you want to do is you want to figure out exactly where the power would go and we want to set these up exactly like we set up the fuel generators. So I'm going to mark out in my mind where it is, then I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to mark it with a nice power line. And the ceiling power lines work perfectly for this. And if you set it up just right, it'll look like it's going straight down into there. Some machines even make it look like it's going through the machines so you don't see the wire at all. And once you have it set up and it's looking really great, such as this one, you can actually go one step further and upgrade the power things right here and then you can actually connect the machines that are down here getting rid of some of the power pole clutter and getting them attached to the ones up there this way you have all the power in one space and it's really nice and easy and it looks nice clean and efficient as you can see the overall look of it looks very uniform very nice and you just have to attach it together and now you have power for everything so with the power lines set on the inside next is to worry about any power lines you have going outside and one of the things that you can do is to use a wall outlet instead of the power pole one of the great things about this is it's nice and compact, looks good, and is very versatile now that they made it so you can actually attach it straight to foundations. And we can do something similar to what we did on the other one where we can actually attach it to a foundation, to a wall, going straight through it because it clips right through it and you won't see it and we can hide it down here. This is really great for hiding things around the base and having all your power lines nowhere to be seen. And then we just connect it and then we go down and we're going to take all our items and we're going to re-put them there like the foundations and bam all the wires are now hidden and we have a nice little wire set up for over here and it's not overly dramatic like it was before then the next thing we can do is actually take up the nice little walls over here and make this nice and uniform similar to how we had everything set up from before thus making this whole outside section right here look fantastic and everything over here is nice and set and looks really good and fits perfectly well so with the majority of everything done i wanted to show you another tip about walls where if you pick the correct orientation things look so much better so as you can see i changed up the orientation on this wall from the flat wall similar to this one to a nice one with lines in the center and now the flat is on the inside so it looks nice and clean where the outside gives it an extra little um, pizzazz or spunk to it. And there are other stuff that you can change up the walls as well. So like I took the walls over here, I changed the orientation so that it actually fits over with that other wall because I think that one is going to look better overall. So we put this one all the way across it, alright, but this time we're only going to go up two layers instead of one. Now the reason for this is I wanted to add a little extra to the wall and I wanted to be able to see out of it to see what's going on. So with the glass walls like this I'm able to see the forest from the inside so if we go inside and see there it adds an extra light to it not to mention we can actually see outside and it doesn't feel too overburdened. 
Now if I do this to other walls, such as this one over here, and the other ones in different areas, I can actually make this room really pop out. So as you can see right here, I got it on all four walls. The only problem is if you look at the outside from here, you kind of can see the machines out there. So you want to be careful on what you do and pick the appropriate one. So last but not least, I wanted to add in one more thing that's very important to every single build, but doesn't fall into any specific category other than calling it extra. These are the little things that you would add into your builds to make them feel complete such as using this fence over here in this power plant. Sure, it doesn't really fall into walls or foundations or anything like that, but it's one of those things that adding it in really helps your build to feel complete. It feels like it's part of it, it should be there, it always should be there, but it's something that most people don't think of when they're building. So another thing that most players don't get that falls under the extra category is actually using machines, power plants, whatever you want as decoration. As you can see in this example, I'm using the biomass burner in the front of my building to showcase exactly what this building is used for, not to mention it looks amazing. And sure, they're not useful or practical, but they fit the overall look of everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I feel that it has been completed. Look at that. It looks amazing. We took this wonderful big white block in the middle of nowhere and we transformed this into... it for this episode ladies and gentlemen if you do like this don't forget to give it a like if you learned something if you found this helpful please it does help the channel if you have any questions concerns or just want to say what you like about this or how it helped or anything like that please leave a comment i read and respond to every single one of them i haven't missed a single one see if you can make me miss one by putting too many no <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for today i hope you all have a good one and i will see you in the next video bye bye